Um, if you have a good home mixed recipe that you got good production out of, uh, man, put that recipe in the comments down below, right? Uh Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Oh, that saved a wretch like me. Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead or Leaving Egypt, depending on which platform you are watching this on. My name is Justin. I live with my wife, Melissa. We got three kids. We live in a tiny home and uh, we do the absolute best that we can to serve the Lord. It's very windy out here. We do the best we can to serve the Lord and try to live a self-sustainable life but we have a long ways to go in both of those avenues. Uh, today, I wanna to talk about chicken feed. And um, if you've seen some of our previous videos, I'll try to put them in a playlist. Um, we tried to mix our own chicken feed uh, and get away from some of the commercially mixed chicken feeds. And uh, I wanna show you that feed and I wanna show or talk to you about why we are no longer using or going to use that home mixed feed and we're going back to the commercial feeds at least for a little while till I can figure something else out. So here is the feed mix that we have been using. Um, it has got peas and corn and milo and oats and wheat and all kinds of stuff in it. Um, what we did was we did three parts peas, uh, two parts oats, one or two parts milo, uh, two parts oats, one part corn, one part wheat, and free choice on the oyster ship. Hey sissy, is it windy out here? Very windy, huh? Careful, don't get blown away. Look at your crazy britches. She got some crazy pants for Christmas. <laughs> Velvety bell bottom britches snow boots a heart coat and a head cover and this girl's living the dream airplane. yeah you hear an airplane so basically we would take that feed and we first we just fed it to him dry that home mixed feed and it just didn't work out for him uh they wouldn't eat it wouldn't wouldn't mess around with it and so um i even tried the whole like they ain't gonna starve they'll eat uh and that didn't work we actually lost a couple chickens uh and so we started soaking it and um, then they ate it pretty good. Uh, the only thing they didn't eat much of still or, or still struggled to eat I think uh, were the peas for some reason they just didn't really care much for them And I don't really know why they just never would eat them So we soaked them and even in the winter time here We've taken them inside taking the buckets inside soaked them in water uh, They soak for a minimum of 48 hours sometimes longer But uh, a minimum of 48 hours before they get fed back to the chickens everything's soft the peas are soft They ate the whole corn fine but they just would not eat the peas for whatever reason. I don't know why, but they just wouldn't eat it. Uh, or not very well. The reason why we're going back to a commercial feed is because we just never did get the production. Um, the type of chickens we have should lay somewhere around an egg a day. And um, we just weren't getting even an egg every other day, right? Um, we just weren't getting it. And so uh, we are having to switch it up. Now, uh, the egg quality was better. I'll give it that. Um, the egg shells that were a lot darker brown, the egg yolks were a lot darker yellow. We noticed that fairly early. Um, however, uh, we just aren't getting the production. Um, we let our chickens somewhat free range in this electric netting. We move it around so it keeps them on fresh ground, which keeps the yolks a richer yellow anyway. So that'll help. And we'll get out of the wind and talk about a game plan going forward. All right. So me and Leah Joe got in the truck to finish the video because the wind is blowing so bad. And I do apologize greatly if all you hear in the first part of that video is But anyhow, quick recap, we're getting away from the home mixed feed and going back to commercial feed because the egg production was not that good for us. And so um, the egg quality was great. The rich dark yellow yolks were delicious. Um, but we just, we weren't even getting like an egg every other day for most of our birds. We were getting um, just barely enough eggs to kind of get through. It takes a lot of eggs for us every morning with our family. We're, we all like eggs. And then we don't just like them for breakfast, right? We like to eat them boiled and those kinds of things. And we just weren't getting the production. So we're going back to a commercial feed for the time being. However, I am keeping my eyes peeled 
for recipes and those kinds of things. Um, if you have a good home mixed recipe that you got good production out of, uh, man, put that recipe in the comments down below, right? Um, I would like to go to like an organic type feed or something like that, uh, but man, that stuff's just so high, right? It is so expensive. And this is part of the trouble with trying to raise good, healthy, um, animals on good healthy feeds is, is man that stuff is just so high now in the summertime it's not a problem right you we I, I give them very little feed in the summertime in the summertime um, they eat the grass and the bugs and all those kinds of things but this time of year um, to supplement their diet trying to give them some feed and I would love to. I would love to give them some sort of organic type feed or some sort of um, home mixed feed that I could mix myself um, th that I know pretty much what's in it and and I just, I haven't found a way to do it cost effectively. So if you have a suggestion, please put it in the comments down below. Um, remember that all of the preparedness in the world will not help you whenever you stand before the Heavenly Father one of these days. Uh, I hope and pray that each and every one of you that watch these videos uh, are saved, that you know the Lord. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. If he is drawing on your heart, he is willing and ready to save your never dying soul. We appreciate you guys watching. Catch you on the next video.